What's going on today, man? Listen. All right, huddle up. We got a serious one today. Look, the Doc's taking a big break from streaming. There's been some crazy accusations. His gaming studio dropped him as a partner. There's a lot going on. People are piling into my channels, and they're asking me for my thoughts. So we decided to pack them all up, put them up here in front of you. And this is going to be the last time that I speak about this, unless if other information comes out. I know this isn't a usual upload, but given the circumstances, we felt like it was a must. I'll see you guys in there. Back on Elden Ring tomorrow, I promise. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, baby. Let me see. What are y'all saying about Doc? Say so he's taking a break? How we feeling, Doc? Says Roy. I'll be honest. I'll, I'm feeling a little fatigued. Feeling a little fatigued. We came in here, champs. We came in here. High energy. High energy. But I'm telling you, man, I'm just... Uh, I'm just feeling fatigued. Right? Feeling a little burnt out. Yeah, but I appreciate you guys showing up. I appreciate you guys showing up. But I am serious when I say I'm feeling a little fatigued. Hmm. You know? When shit like this happens over the weekend and it just kind of it's like how much how many times can I uh, just I, I don't like I'm, t I'm I'm actually tired of being on social media and I've and I've expressed that over the years champ so I just you know I've always kind of hinted like it'd be nice to get off and just completely separate, right? Go live in Costa Rica or something. <laughs> Sound like me. I don't know. But I'm just feeling burnt out, I think. You know? Well, I came into this. But when did we do when did we start streaming, champs? 2015? 16? We've been doing this since 2009. You know, different scene back then, having a good time, playing the games that were fun to interact with and create content with. And over the years, it's just gotten, I don't know, like the, it's, the, it's been drained out of me. It's been drained out of me. It's been drained out of my family and I. And I just feel like, uh, you know, you know, I had the mindset of let's let's just see what happens today. How are we feeling? And I'll tell you, I just um, I don't know. I'm just feeling burnt out. You know, Damn. maybe it's time to start something new, something different. You know, challenge those creative senses. A desire to explore different realms, if you will. But I think the first and foremost, though, and is, you know, I did have a sort of a planned vacation coming up. And I think I might just extend that starting today, starting now. <laughs> you know, one of these. Let's take a step back. I mean, it is what it is. People get fatigued, right, champs? And to be honest, I don't know how long, you know, I, I, I know where my vacacion, the, how long my vacation is, but, you know, maybe I extend that. We'll see. We'll see. But I do... Uh, I do appreciate you guys, champs. And look out for the socials. I'll keep you updated when we'll be back. But I definitely need to take a break from... Kind of from everything. You know? I think what I'm most interested in... And believe it or not, champs. Because obviously when you're a top-tier gamer like me... <laughs> when your g gaming um, skill set is just incredible. And, you know, you, you look like there this. You know, why wouldn't you want to be in front of the camera all the time? 
But I'm kind of, uh, I'm exhausted in being in front of the camera. I'm exhausted being on socials. The industry's changed so much. Just so much different energy out there, negative energy and clashing. And from everything that we've experienced since we've started this whole journey together, you know what I mean, champs? And I'm just like, when I go outside, I just feel so much better. When I get, when I remove myself, I just feel, ah, oh, what the hell is this, you know? So that's all I'm going to say. Keep playing, Doc. We don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Champs, I'm going to call it right there. A little short one. We accomplished some things, but uh, I think more importantly, we need to step away. I think I, when I say step away, I think, I mean, I'm going to have to either have to relay this to the Midnight Society, but I, you know, maybe Midnight I step away society. from there too. Just completely remove myself from the scene. It's what I need to do. I mean, I, right? It's what he needs to do. Champs. Take all the time you need, says Layer Cake. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Don't be a pussy. God damn it. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, it's fatigue. It's Don't be a tired. Pussy. It's wanting to just kind of move away from the limelight. Ultimately, that's what it's about. You know what I mean, champs? Damn, now what? I mean, shit, there's 50 million other streamers you can watch right now. It's getting old, yo. What's getting old? Get the break. Respect it, Doc. Okay, I appreciate that. It's time to drive into the sunset, says Swervin. Oof, man, I like your style. It might be time to drive in the sunset, champ. I mean, he is older. I'll say that much. That's my first thought. I appreciate all of you. I don't know how I appreciate old he is, all the commitments, the recommitments. Older. Please, do me a favor. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. This doesn't look ah. like a. That didn't look like a, a panicky exit, or like a Join uncomfortable exit. Right. It kind of looked like exactly what the f he said, man. He just kind of he's probably just over it. That's what it felt like to me. It's been a week, and you know, I mean, he is doctor disrespect. Like he leans into that shit so hard, so. I guess, you know, that part of it could be kind of exhausting, I'm sure. But all the things he's been through, because, you know, I mean, for a while there, he was banned from Twitch. And there was, I mean, well, he's still banned, but people couldn't fucking play with him. He was on his own island, just doing his own thing for so long. I'm sure that probably took a toll. Going through court battles and shit, too, was, was man, it's, I'm sure that's draining. A lot of you guys know about that, you know. That sucks, man. It's not cool to see a homie fatigued and drained, but... At the same time, like, you know, it's a normal, it's, people get tired, man. Definitely a normal thing in any space, you know? And then when you're going through what he's going through, the lawsuit thing, it's, it's been a lot, man. He's had a real up and down career. He's killed it. He's crushed it. But it's definitely been a up and down career, you know, where, where he's had to kind of go through some shit and put it all on the line. So, you know, if he's feeling fatigued from that, I think anybody in here could probably just say, yeah, it's normal, right? It makes sense. You know, I can speak for, like, people who create content in front of a lot of people. I think, you know, I think there's always some pressure, you know, but you got to do what he's doing right now. Like, if it gets you to a certain point, you got to be strong enough as well to just be like, hey, listen, I got to take a break. I got to take a week or I got to take two weeks, wherever it might be. I got to take some time. You know, you can't just fucking grind until you hit a wall. That's not smart. So... At least he understands that. There's a couple people in the chat, and I read some comments while he was talking. That it's like he got a bad text, and then he's hurrying off the thing. That We've seen that happen before from him. What I just watched right there didn't feel like that. It could be, though. It could be. It just didn't feel that way, though. Because we've seen how he's responded to, like, getting news, you know?
It just it, it didn't look that way. It kind of felt like he, you know, he he was ready to get offline. I completely believe the shit he was saying at the end of that stream. Like, you know, he he wanted to fire it up today and just kind of see how he feels. And he wasn't having as much fun. He's probably just kind of over. I'll tell you this, man. It's another thing too. You know, the the weird part about the internet. You know, they, they, but the internet can be so great, you know, but it can also be pretty bad. It can be pretty crazy. I don't really let the people chat and shit to me get to me. But if you do and if you did, bro, it can be a lot of weight, I'd imagine, you know. And there was a time in my life where it used to piss me off a lot, but I got over that a long time ago. You know, I had my dad to help me and I had people in my life. I, I, I just go bitch to my dad. Fucking guy said this. They're all saying that, man. I'm, I want to fucking fight him. I'm just, I hate the way this internet shit works. And he would talk to me and just kind of calm my ass down and put it into perspective and it can be a lot of weight not to say he's not handling it correctly but like in your mind it's a mind battle it's like you got to be able to take like imagine just a book with a bunch of pages you got to just turn the page be somewhere else you know keep the focus on the shit that you need to focus on you know if you can't break it all up in your head and you stay on it for too long it could just drain the life out of you so maybe he's just been you know it's been kind of eating away at him a little bit you know Picking away at him a little bit. I don't know. It may be good for him. Right, right, yeah. Uh, on Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders. So an allegation against one of our co-founders, Guy Beam, a.k.a. Dr. Disrespect. We assumed his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. While these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, while these facts... It is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers and families we have employed along with our community of players. It's weird because they start out by saying that they became aware of an allegation against the doc. We assumed his innocence. They assumed it off the rip. But then they began speaking with parties involved. So who's that? Who is this? And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. Okay. But what is this? I think this means that while these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, they're talking about, in my opinion, it seems like they're talking about the termination of Doc in this studio like you know dropping him is difficult to hear uh terminating doc and going forward without him is difficult to accept right what's strange is how they the allegation up top god man like the more i hear about this the more i just wish people would just come out and say what happened like actually say it and prove it i mean if there's whispers of him doing this stuff can put them out there if there's not then shut the fuck up this is just a bunch of fucking blabber. Without a shred of evidence presented to the public, this is a crazy move. Have you considered that if it's true, the victim of the family would rather not be publicized? Right. Right. This is a great comment back. I mean, if it's true, shouldn't he be going to jail? You protect the kid that Doc was talking to? No. Look, I understand that, but back up. If he did this, isn't, isn't jail like a thing here? In California law, then yes, he would be behind bars. Well, he's in California, so. How did he get paid then? Well, the getting paid thing isn't like a definitive he didn't do it. It definitely, I mean, all of this is just like we're just guessing. But it definitely doesn't look great on Twitch's part. That's for sure. Because it's kind of like, oh, let's just fucking pay the guy and be done with it. This is a serious thing, man. This isn't just, hey, pay the guy and be done with it. You know? The fulfillment of his contract isn't doesn't equal for me. Anyway, that he's 100% off the hook, it definitely helps in my mind. It's like, okay, I mean, fuck. Because there's all kinds of clauses in those contracts where if you, if they don't like the way that you're even fucking acting or speaking, I mean, you could be terminated and lose the fulfillment of the contract entirely, you know? I mean, both sides put little little lines in there, little escape ways out and shit, you know? I look, I mean, people don't like confusion, man. This is very confusing, it's the whole thing is just very confusing and there's just so much 
information that's not out there and very, very, very little information that is. And people take it and they run 100 yards down the field with just this little information. And that's scary to do, man, because like you might got to walk that all the way back. People are probably hearing me say that. Okay, Nick, how about you? You're up here defending him. Well, so what happens if it all comes to light and he actually did some of this shit or he did that shit? Well, look, I never said 100% he didn't. I just said that you can't say that someone's guilty without proving that he is, especially something like that. It's ridiculous. I mean, that's not how that works. Now, do I think he did it? No, I don't think he fucking did it. No, I fucking don't think that he did it. In my balls and in my gut that I trust, I don't think he did it. I don't know what the fuck he did, but I don't think he did what they're saying he did. Now, if it comes out that he did, then I'm fucking wrong. I've been wrong before. You can be wrong again. I'm just saying all of this, people are going around like, oh, gotcha. This is not a gotcha. This is not like, oh, he did it. No, no. None of this means that. Especially this fucking tweet. Like, this is such a fucking cringe tweet, man, because it just doesn't change anything, man. It doesn't change anything but make things more confusing. That's all it does. I will say I hate to see this developer turn their back on him without evidence to support this case. If I had an opinion on this tweet, say I hate it because they just, I don't know, they just canned him without evidence. And that, my friends, is a scary precedent to set and not something that you necessarily are trying to see.